These were just delivered yesterday, I believe. love this company. They've got a great website. This is a pluary sweet treat. It's a hybrid according to the back of the tag. I've never had one. And it's uh, predominantly a plum and cherry uh, hybrid. Um, yay. Sounds yummy. Let's check some prices now. These are 50 bucks. Every one of these fruit trees is $50 at Home Depot. Ooh, Desert Gold Peach. Dave Wilson Nursery. I love Dave Wilson Nursery. I like their website too. Still checking prices. They're still 50, all of them. I tried a Santa uh, Rosa plum in my backyard. I uh, believe it was bare root for some reason. I didn't think it was, but it ended up being. It died. I'm not really willing to try it again. Also 50 bucks. We've got mandarin oranges. Those are $100. Uh, various uh, citrus plants. They've got the oranges in the orange containers and the green in the green containers. Cute. Like the limes are in the green containers. This is a Satsuma. The hardiness is to 30. That's actually not hardy in our zone. It is hardy in Tucson, which is 40 minutes north of us, but it's not hardy in 8B. The best you can do is grow them outside and take them inside. We have some, you know, uh, 20s. We, we just do. Uh, they sell them down here because we love them. We want to try. We certainly do want to try. I wasn't quite sure what this one was. I've never even heard of a Calamondin. They're drought tolerant, that's the good news. Again, still hardy to 30. Probably gonna struggle in the winter unless one covers it. And then, as I noticed, these are the limes. Cute green containers. I'm liking the festive containers. Hardy to 30. That is zone nine something. Here's a pomegranate. I didn't know they're draped over like that. That looks just like my pomegranate. I think pomegranate trees do grow here. I don't really see where it's hardy to, but mine's growing ish. I mean, it's not really turning into a tree, it looks a little bit more like a vine. I think I saw them unloading some trees yesterday as well. I just looking this up. It's $190. It's a Texas ash tree, a fan tex ash. It's a pretty one, isn't it? White oleanders. Oleanders grow very, very well down here. These guys are 80 bucks for this size. And then that's uh, a red oleander back in the back there. Red, pink. I know I looked this tree up before. 
this is it's called a it, forgive me if I don't pronounce it right Quercus virginianus it is a uh, live oak I can never remember that Nope. I looked it up. I typed in that first word. I, t I went to the website. I went to Home Depot's website. I went to the plant stand Arizona website. Nothing. Not This $80 beauty is a desert museum, Palo Verde. They're very common here, both in commercial and private landscaping. They get very big. Some people appear to be allergic seasonally to the bloom of the yellow flowers. It was about 9 in the morning and I was really trying to get as much filmed as I could before people showed up. That's a beauty, isn't it? Dancing dolls. And look, does that mean that rabbits and deer do like to eat it or don't like to eat it? It is hardy in our zone. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. I don't have room for it, but it is pretty. You should get it. I was tilting my camera down as I was passing people that were starting to show up. Osteopermum, am I right? African daisies, oh my gosh, they're so cute. These are pentas, and the truck I saw pulling in yesterday said something about color me beautiful pentas something or another. Uh, I did a pentas last year in a pot with some other things. It, it didn't come back, so I just don't know if I'm going to try it again. Lantana, Lantana, Lantana. Do you love Lantana? It's so pretty and so happy here. And look, we got proven winners. Super Bells and proven winners. Luscious Berry Lantana. I got some of that. Everything I bought from proven winners last year came back. So, uh, that's a cute little display. Uriops, I have one of those. I must have one of everything. Oh, those are adorable, aren't they? I do not have a sweet pea shrub. I don't know why. I just don't have one. I always stop and look at it. I don't really have a lot of room for shrubs. Not in a container garden like I do. Bougainvillea, I love this uh, light pink and yellow and white mixed. I don't have one of those, but I have enough Bougainvillea. I'm probably saying right now, while I'm in the store, they're not hardy here, they're not hardy here, they're not hardy here. I keep saying this and they keep selling them. Look at those tomatoes. If you buy those today, you will get a tomato. Aren't they great? Oh, I love it when they have fruit on them. I couldn't figure out if it was determinant or um, um, indeterminate. Sorry, <laughs> that was the opposite word. I have enough tomatoes. Nevertheless, I couldn't figure it out. But I love when plants already have the fruit on them. These are the queen palms. They sell a lot here. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I see people hauling these out like they live in the tropics. No. These are uh, Tacoma capensis. I planted a couple of these last year. They were so beautiful. And it says that they're hardy to 20 degrees mine the leaves all dropped off and I don't think I realized that they would come back they got they got disposed of but aren't they beautiful geraniums geraniums you can never have enough geraniums in my opinion and they're on sale two for twenty Papaya popsicle, torch lily. I actually have two of these. I then I meant to buy them as grasses, and then one day this great kind of bloom appeared, and I have two growing in containers in my Xeriscape garden.
I don't have those shrubs. These are adorbs. I don't have one. Should I have one? What do you think? Is a smart plant drought tolerant? What was the name? Hardy in our zone? Ruby cluster something or another. So cute. Look at those blooms. Blooms spring to summer. Oh, that's not very long, is it? It's pretty though. It's probably in its prime right now. There were ground cover over there, all succulents and drought tolerant. And these peppers are the cutest, aren't they? Oh my God, I love them. I'm not buying one, but I love them. I got inside the store and I went straight for the succulents. Uh, this is an ice plant. I have ice plants, various ones. I don't think I have a pink. Um, I have um, sort of a the apple teeny kind of apple. Am I pronouncing that right? And then also I have a, an orange one that I grow up front. Lots and lots of succulents. Listen, when you put them outside here in Arizona, 8B, no, 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 no. Probably not. Probably not. Don't count on them all of them surviving. You might have one or two. At least this is my experience, right? That right there, a red yucca all day long. Plant that, plant that. Those things grow massively big here and they're so happy. And they have these long red blooms. Turning into the veggies. Lots and lots of veggies in right now. More succulents. Lots of tomatoes and peppers are in right now. It's a little too warm now for the cool crops. Various kinds of peppers. I only eat bell pepper, so looks like a few things didn't get watered. I noticed that about Home Depot today. A lot of stuff had keeled over because of watering a lot. I'm, I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, seascape strawberries. I digress. Are they the best ever? I've got a lot of strawberries and strawberries do struggle here. They're really great in spring. They're wonderful in the fall. Summer they could care less. They don't want to produce. These are all the cool season crops. Oh, cantaloupe. That's not cool season. Watermelon, I'm all set for my watermelon. I've got a, sun, um, a sugar baby, two of them growing, and I planted three muskmelons from seeds from fruit last from last year. More peppers. There are so many different kinds of peppers and tomatoes. Goodness gracious. Oh no, those were Roma tomatoes. I'm set for tomatoes. I'm set. A lot of mint. More peppers. Boy, if you like hot peppers, Arizona's your place. I don't like hot peppers. I'm just a bell pepper girl. So I've got two bell pepper plants. That's down from 40 last year. Are you proud of me? You need to be. Again, Somebody didn't water or something. Our nights are in the 50s, so the tomatoes should survive that. These are elephant ear succulents. Mine survived two years, and then they gave up the third year because of the cold. They just wouldn't come back from it. They, they, I mean, they look half dead after the cold, the winter, but then they come back, but not this year, no. Those are red, The, those are the Sweet pea, something or another. What are these? Salvia fire dancer. Aren't they gorgeous? I really just don't have the room for any more shrubs, but in looking at those, maybe I need to run back to the store. I believe they're hardy in our zone. So pretty. I, I like red. I like reds and oranges.
heather along the not heather uh, lavender along the way lots and lots of have lavender it seems to do really well here I guess if I wasn't interested, I wasn't looking at the tag. There was only so much, so long these vi vi um, videos can be, right? I had thought this was a lavender, but it's a desert sage called Santa Barbara. It looked a little worse for wear. It needed water. Lots and lots of succulent. Agave does real well here, or agave, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, you know cacti do well here. These guys needed watering so bad. I don't know. No wonder they were on sale. Another uh, Spanish lavender, I think. <clears throat> Mexican Heather. I found that attractive. Calabricoa, canna lilies, these big, big combination pots. Oh, those are proven winners. I think I noticed this year that they're, they're in the $70 range. Uh, so that's just a no for me. We've got a lot of petunias still. I didn't see any pansies. It may be passing the season for pansies. It's, it's getting warm. My pansies are doing okay. Some are not, and some are doing okay. That is a tall Tacoma plant, the kind like I bought last year. I bought three. I put them in my window because I wanted to look at colorful things. They didn't make it. Lantana, lots of lantana. I put two lantana in a container I couldn't get them out uh, along with other plants and I was going to take them out at the end of the so-called season because they won't bloom all winter here and, oh my god they were they had filled the pot it was quite the struggle to get them out lots of bougainvillea snapdragons I have a newfound love for snapdragons they seem to do pretty well here but I'd say in the shade after a while marigolds do well here they struggle in the heat of the summer but they do well there's the Tacoma trumpet bush or Tacoma pensis it's beautiful I just I don't know I didn't do well with it and I'm not willing to go back to it just yet Bottle brush, boy, they attract bees. Blue potato bush, pretty. Impatience, same for everywhere. Keep them in the shade. These are gazanias. I don't know that much about them. My neighbor loves them. Gazanias, yeah, she loves them. She plants them out front and has no problem with them at all in the sun. I can't plant them because she's planted them. I mean, look, come on, come on. Be nice to your neighbors. Don't plant everything they've got. Lobelia, although I will say that she has bird of paradise and one of her seeds must have blown over because I have a bird of paradise growing in my front yard now thanks to her. Thank you and it's going to be a beauty this year. That is purple lantana, uh, sort of a trailing. This one's a trailing as well called Dallas Red. The lantana is on sale but as a reminder um, they do uh, over winter here they will come back next year. They'll look dead and then they'll come back. But they will look dead. They will fool you. I love this pink lantana as well. Osteopermum, African daisies, more lantana that's trailing. The bougainvillea again.
This is Gora. I'm not, I've never grown it. It's pretty. I know that uh, a favorite channel that we all watch, uh, she talks about it quite a bit. Laura does. A random African violet in the wrong place. Geraniums. These are the back of the impatience. Snapdragons. Passion flower. This is a new one to me. I have a blue one and I have a Ernest Markham, which may not be coming back. And this one is called Lady Margaret. It's a beauty. I would love to have this one, but I already have so many. Uh, so I don't know. I don't. I'm running out of like vertical space. Believe it or not. Still more lantana. I love this little bush below. It's called a shrimp bush. I was reading about it. It was um, Justicia. I had to look it up. Uh, or Justicia. It's called a, a shrimp plant. Shrimp plant. Yes, yes. Oh, it's so pretty. I loved it. I don't know why I don't have it. Just out of room, out of irrigation. I'll wait for a few more things to die before I buy some more stuff. Lilies. My neighbor uh, grows those pretty well. Bougainvillea. I don't know what this is. We just get racks and racks of this stuff. I'm just not familiar with it. And it doesn't matter how many times I stop and say something about it. Diplodenia. I don't get what it is. Don't know. Haven't tried it. I might love it someday, but I don't have it. Not to forget about the hibiscus standards. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it, and I don't have one. A hibiscus standard. Canna lilies. Um, I, I was tempted. I was very tempted. A lot of people buy them, and, and I think they do well in a shady environment. And aren't they just beautiful? Naturally, I'm attracted to the red. I was having a hard time holding this canister and filming at the same time. That's what the uh, drama was all about. I really couldn't figure out what to do. I decided not to get it. But they are beautiful. This is called the White Bird of Paradise. I don't know what to think about that. That, I believe, is... Oh, do you not love the polka dot bush? I do, I do, I do. More marigolds. The big round ones. They're actually called an African marigold. I didn't know that versus French. Lilies, 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 lilies. Oh, 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 please, yes, please. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I want this. I need to own this. I love it, I love it. And no, keep going, keep going. And I did. I did. More lobelia. Geraniums. Cosmos. I've never planted Cosmos. I have Cosmos seeds. I didn't plant them this year. And then I got to thinking, why well, get Cosmos seeds? Why don't I just plant these little guys? Except I'm out of room. Wait, is that a red hibiscus again? A standard? Oh, I love it. I love it. I moved on. A few more snapdragons, petunias, asparagus fern. I've never had one. Maybe I might have had one in a a a, a container a grouping. Uh, and still I don't have one, by the way. <laughs> Left the store without one. I just think they're cute. These are Mandevilla, which are not hard in our zone. And 
and the tangerine cross vine of which I have two. That's that Diplodenia guy. Really cute, aren't they? I don't know what to think about them. Certainly bring a lot of them in. Looks like it might be hardy in Arizona. I'm not really sure. Sometimes I find the tags a little bit confusing. Actually, it didn't say whether it was hardy. That's why I was reading. We've already been over that container. Switching over to the grasses. Uh, boy, I don't know. That sago palm right there, that does survive here. Happily. Alyssum, lots of petunias. I don't see any pansies. Sweet potato vine, I've never had one. Lantana, more lantana. Lots and lots of lantana. And uh, looks like uh, petunias, petunias, petunias. They do okay here. Gotta give them water though. I love those, but I don't know. I'm not willing. All right, that was the end of the store. I'll leave store. you with this gloriousness while I say goodbye. I'd actually gone to the store to look for some additional um, ideas on how I wanted to trellis my grapes in their third year as they're getting bigger and bigger. I've got some that are smaller and manageable, but two are quite big now. And um, I wasn't able to find it at Home Depot, so I ended up having to go to Ace and Lowe's, but I can't put all that in this one video. So enjoy the hibiscus and I'll show you what the other stores had in another video because they do have different stuff. They do. It's so interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye.